Hey, it's me, Indy. Join me as I find a water vein out in the desert and build a grand adobe sanctuary around it in ascended scorched earth. The first and most important thing we needed was clay. So of course I'm gonna get my little chemistry bench that I worked so hard, hours, trying to craft and put it right on top of there and get moving. We gotta make that clay the most efficient way possible and this is it. We got a little box on the wagon. We got my little megtherium rolling us around. It was the best thing that could possibly happen to us. Now, fortunately for us, in this teeny megatherium, who I have named Maggie, that I found as an orphan child in the desert. She is an apex herbivore. Or is it an omnivore? She is an omnivore, everybody. And no other creature dare cross her. So we are absolutely safe riding on Maggie until we get off of Maggie. Then, then we may be in a little bit of danger, but you know what? There ain't nobody around. It was perfectly fine. This was a nice little area. It was quiet. It was tranquil. We got our little Dodicurus. Dodicurus. Got on this little guy. Also an orphan. All my little creatures are little babies I got from the wild. And we went to work. We got the sand from the rocks. Get, get rid of the stone. We don't need the stone right now. And we got the chainsaw. Go hacking up them little cactus. They grow so fast. Don't know how that is, but they do. And we got that cactus sack. Put them together inside the chemistry bench. Boom. Clay. Clay for days. I filled up that little that little box full of clay. And then we went rolling right back home. Now, the area that I had selected was, of course, where a water vein was. And it was just down the way from my first outpost at some adobe ruins. And it was a perfect location, not too far. Had access to water. Was up on a, uh, a little plateau of sorts. Perfect. I like being elevated because I like going downhill. I don't like going uphill. I hate it. But it was nice. What I was going for, okay, is kind of adobe, adobe mission, Spanish villa. Now, it ain't gonna look like no Spanish villa. Those are kind of nice looking. They're kind of fancy. If we could paint the walls white, we could get the look. But so far, it's gonna look more Adobe than anything else. Something out of Red Dead Redemption. You know, John Marston, he's running over. He's, he's shooting at some boy that he knows that he's mad at. That kind of situation. So, I had the layout. It was time to just fill everything in.
All right, here is the final product. I got the roof on, I got everything filled in. We have everything decorated. We got our guys out here. There's um, there's a giant well. That holds a lot. Here we have a lot of little guys. We got the peony here. The peony is very interesting. You go into the piano menu and it plays the ARC soundtracks. I was kind of disappointed. I was expecting actual piano versions or something going on, something piano-like, but I guess we'll just play a little bit of Scorched Earth for now. <laughs> that will just have to do. And that's the peony. Very nice. I kind of like it. Very rustic looking. It goes with the vibe. It's all right. It's kind of funny. Here's a poker table. It is a mini game. You play with multiple people. You bet items and such things. I don't have any friends and I don't know how to play poker. Here's some leather furniture. We got the saloon table. I got to put some chairs and some stuff on there. Here's my wagon. This is going to be for going out, um, and farming some metal with our friend Maggie here. She's a doll. Here we have our crafting stations. This is the crafting room. And this will soon be the kitchen. We need more stuff. And then in here will be dino storage. I love dino depot. It's beautiful. Here's a bedroom. And we have some hallways. Back here there's a little secret door for escaping. Now I made these double wide so that my creatures can walk through here because I need them to go back and forth in some little areas. I hope to make this area for breeding. There's another room at the end. That's gonna be for um, raising up babies. I got my little birds running around. Out here is where the well is. And we've got a whole garden going on here. We've got some crop plots from the rustic, uh, Clinger's Rustic structures we have some water wells uh we don't really need them because that one has 100,000 units of water i think that will suffice for us we got some wall planters we have another forge here i love these forges they're fantastic we got another little bird walking around look at this little shiny guy he's dazzling she's dazzling and of course we have the well it's lovely nice centerpiece in the garden here this is where we are located on the map. Very nice. My other outpost is just over yonder. We have our Dinotherium that we tamed the other day. She's just chilling out there. She's a little too big to fit inside. <laughs> and here is where I'm going to raise babies. So we have two little like compartment areas. And you know what? I think that'll be just fine. We don't need big doors. We'll just move them around with the uh, the dino storage balls. But that's about all we got here. I'll probably have to add some more stuff to decorate everything. This was kind of just, you know, pulling some things together really quick so it doesn't look so empty in here. <laughs> but I think that's about it. Up here we have a little balcony so that we can oversee everything. Here's a water well. It's fantastic. I did have the greenhouse glass on top up here, but I had to take it down because it was getting way too hot in the house. <laughs> but this is Yeehaw Villa. That's uh, the name I came up with and that's what I'm sticking to. I'm not changing it for anything because, you know, Yeehaw times. Anyway, this is going to be the new home for all that we're doing here on Scorched Earth. I don't feel like making any new buildings. We'll probably make little outposts here and there. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye.